As bad as the high water looks, Rockhampton may be spared its worst flooding in half a century. Officials were hoping levels on the Fitzroy River may have peaked in the Queensland town near Australia's east coast, just over nine meters, a little more than 30 feet, which was less than predicted. The water may have swamped 200 homes and 100 businesses in the community, but Mayor Brad Carter was hoping conditions will improve as time goes on. It appears as though we certainly have seen the worst of it, even if it gets to 9.4 and that is the worst of it. But the thing that we need to appreciate, uh, we're starting to see the impact of climate change in this region. If Carter's right, that means Queensland's wet seasons will see more rain, just as the land may get more parched during dry spells. Though it may be hard to visualize that, given the present sea of water making its way through river systems to the ocean. Queensland's Premier Anna Bly has called the current flooding a disaster of unprecedented scale that will require an unparalleled rebuilding effort. We are now on the rebuilding task. Uh, We are determined to see regional Queensland back on its feet as quickly as possible. She appointed an army general in charge of the recovery effort. The cleanup is expected to cost billions, with an estimated 200,000 people affected by the flooding. In the meantime, those returning home in flood-stricken areas need to maneuver carefully, according to Rockhampton resident Shane Muirhead. There's a lot of snakes, um, and I mean a lot, like every 100 yards you will see a snake. And they're just everywhere. And it's not just venomous snakes Queensland residents have to worry about. There have been more heavy rains around the state capital, and a severe weather warning remains in effect from Rockhampton to the south. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.